You know, one of the easiest traps to fall into when editing with iMovie is not properly setting the resolution and frame rate of your project. Being able to manually set up the resolution and frame rate of your project is an essential editing task that will help you avoid exporting poor quality or even unusable video. Now, in other editing software like Final Cut Pro, there's a project settings menu where you can set the resolution 720p or 1080p or 4K and the frame rate 30 frames per second or 24 or 60. There's no such menu in iMovie. In iMovie, the resolution and frame rate of your project are set by the first clip you place on the timeline. It's a clumsy, non-intuitive method for setting up an editing project and can easily lead you to unknowingly choosing the wrong resolution and frame rate for the video you're trying to make. Thankfully, there's an easy and effective way to overcome this very limited functionality in iMovie. Dummy clips. A dummy clip is a snippet of video with a preset resolution and frame rate that you use to set up your iMovie projects. And you can create a variety of dummy clips quickly and easily using Apple Keynote, the presentation software that comes bundled with every Mac, at least at the time of this recording. Let me show you. All right, here we are in Keynote. This is Keynote version 13.1 running on Mac OS 13.4.1. And I have a new basic black theme project open with one slide. I'm going to quickly create a 1080p 60 frames per second dummy clip for setting up my iMovie project. So I'll start by deleting all of this default text on the keynote slide. That leaves me with this black blank slide, which is fine for my dummy clip. I'm going to label this slide by going up to keynote's top toolbar and selecting the text button and a text bar appears on the slide. I'm going to increase the size of the text by going back up to the top right of the keynote interface and selecting the format button. And in the format section, making sure the text button is selected, I'll go down here under font and over to the font size settings and enter 200 and hit return to increase the size of the text. Then I'll select the text and change it to 1080p 60. 460 frames per second, so I know at a glance what the settings of this dummy clip are. The next step is the key to this whole thing. I'll go to Keynote's top menu and select File, Export to Movie. And up pops the Export Settings menu. I'll leave Playback set to Self Playing, Slide set to All since we only have one slide. I'll leave Go to Next Slide After set to 5 seconds. This setting, by the way, will make my exported video five seconds long. I'll leave go to next build after at two seconds. Now the next export settings are really important. Under resolution, I'm gonna make sure custom is selected. In the custom resolution fields, I'm going to enter 1920 by 1080. That's 1080p resolution. If I wanted to create a 4K resolution dummy clip, I would enter 3840 by 2160. 720p dummy clip would be 1280 by 720. I'll set the custom resolution back to 1920 by 1080. We're making a 1080p 60 frames per second dummy clip. So under frame rate, I'm going to select 60 FPS. You can also choose 30 frames per second. 24, and a whole bunch more. It's great that Keynote gives you so many resolutions and frame rates to choose from. I'll select 60 frames per second, 60 FPS. I'll leave compression type set to H.264, then hit Save. I'll label the exported file, then hit Export. Okay, here we are in iMovie. This is iMovie version 10.3.8, running on Mac OS 13.4.1 for your reference. And I'm gonna find my exported 1080p 60 frames per second dummy clip and drag and drop it into the iMovie media browser. Now, as you can see, I took the time to create a few more dummy clips in Keynote with different resolutions and frame rates. I even created a vertical video dummy clip for setting up vertical video editing in iMovie. All right, I'm going to set the resolution and frame rate of this new project 
to 1080p 60 frames per second using the dummy clip. So I'll select the dummy clip in the browser, then hit the E key on my keyboard to add it to the timeline as the first clip. All right, let's check the project settings. To do that, I'll go way over to the right of the timeline and select the settings button. And the project settings panel opens and you can see right under project settings, it says 1080p 60. All right, let's try another dummy clip. I'll select and delete the 1080p dummy clip on the timeline. Back up in the browser, I'll select the 4K 24 frames per second dummy clip. And then I'll hit the E key to add it to the timeline as the first clip. Head over and open settings. And you can see the project resolution is now set to 4K. Unfortunately, the frame rate doesn't show if the clip is 24 or 30 frames per second. Frame rate only shows for 60 frames per second for some reason. Now, you're probably thinking, great, I can manually set my project's resolution and frame rate, but do I need to have this ugly dummy clip on the front of all my videos? Now, would I do that to you? Of course not. You can delete this dummy clip, but only after you've added a second clip to the timeline. Let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna select and delete the 4K dummy clip on the timeline. This time I'm gonna add the 1080p 24 frames per second dummy clip from the browser. Then confirming in the project settings, the project is now set to 1080p. Next, I'm gonna select this 4K video clip in the browser. Incidentally, if you ever wanna know the resolution and frame rate of a video, just open it up in QuickTime Player. And in the QuickTime Player menu, select Window, Show Movie Inspector, or you can use the keyboard shortcut Command-I. And you'll get this inspector pane that gives you all kinds of information about the video, including its resolution. And if you twirl down the Video Details section, you can see the video's frame rate. All right, back over here in iMovie, I have this 4K clip selected. I'll hit the E key on my keyboard to add the clip to the timeline right after the 1080p dummy clip. And there it is. Now I'm gonna select the 1080p dummy clip, the first clip on the timeline, and delete it. Let's go back and check the project settings. And you can see the project is still set to 1080p, even though the only clip on the timeline is a 4K clip. This is how you're able to zoom into video footage up to two times without losing quality. You edit 4K clips in a 1080p project. And if you wanna know more about how to create zooms and other effects in iMovie for your YouTube videos, have a look at this video on my channel.